Chocolate in any form is a great idea for celebration, especially when it's the end of the year and life seems to be on a party spree. Chocolate cups are yum, easy and a great comfort to your taste buds at any point of time. To begin with, I have some dark chocolate that I've chopped and melted in the microwave for 30-40 seconds. And now I'm going to whisk it to break all the lumps and I have a smooth liquid. I have some silicon cups over here in which I'm going to fill the melted chocolate and then just spread it all around the cup. In this way, finish all your cups. If you feel that the chocolate is sliding down from the edges, just let the chocolate cool down for 5 minutes and then start using it. And now I'm going to let them set in a refrigerator for 7 to 8 minutes. While the chocolate cups are setting, I'm going to quickly make the chocolate sauce. So for that, I have around 200 grams of bitter chocolate that I've chopped up. And now I'm going to add some cream. And now I'm going to melt this in the microwave for around 50 to 60 seconds. The chocolate sauce is melted now and I'm going to give it a whisk. Make sure you make this chocolate sauce at least 2-3 to three hours earlier because it needs to cool down at room temperature and as it cools it's going to become thick. So I'm going to keep this aside now and bring the tarts out. The tarts are nicely set and now with very light hands I'm going to start peeling the silicone mold out. The chocolate sauce is cooled down and it's become nice and thick and now I'm going to fill it up in a piping bag. So I have a star nozzle with a piping bag over here. The piping bag is ready. If you're serving these tarts immediately, you can fill them up with any kind of berries like strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, just chop them up finely and top it up with the chocolate sauce. Since I'm going to serve these tarts after a while, I'm going to fill them up with some dried figs, cranberries and some walnuts. I've just chopped them up roughly and then top it up with the sauce. Otherwise, you can just serve it with plain chocolate sauce. It still tastes yum. Just a few pieces of cranberries, some chopped up dried figs, walnuts. And now, let's top it up with the chocolate sauce. some colourful sprinkles. I have some chocolate hearts. With that, I wish all of you a very happy and prosperous new year ahead. See you soon.